Hi, this is Vijay Talani. In this video, we'll discuss adaptive metrics from Grafana Cloud. One of the biggest challenges observability teams face today is, although they're being asked to store an ever-increasing amount of Prometheus metrics, they're left wondering, how many of these metrics are actually queried? And does this really help us resolve issues faster? Well, at Grafana Labs, we sought out to answer those questions and find out how we could help. And today, I'm excited to introduce Adaptive Metrics from Grafana Cloud. Adaptive Metrics helps you reduce observability costs by optimizing Prometheus cardinality. It helps you identify and eliminate wasteful unused metrics, so you pay for what you use. Adaptive Metrics continually analyzes your usage patterns, looking at your dashboards, alert and reporting rules, and 30 days worth of ad hoc query history, and generates a set of recommended aggregations. From there, you have the control to choose which to apply, and only the data you need is persistent. Your dashboards, alerts, and queries all continue to work. And of course, Adaptive Metrics continues to analyze your environment and generates new recommended aggregations as your usage patterns change. Now, let's take a look at some recommendations. Adaptive Metrics leverages a powerful recommendation engine, which understands not only dashboards and alerts, but recording rules and ad hoc queries as well. In this example, we see that this metric is not being used in any dashboards, alert or recording rules, but has been used in ad hoc queries. Adaptive Metrics identifies which labels have been used in the last 30 days and shows us which ones can be safely aggregated and exactly what impact that'll have on cardinality. This next metric is being used in dashboards and ad hoc queries. Once again, Adaptive Metrics knows exactly which labels are being used, tells us which ones can be aggregated, and here we see that this can have a significant reduction to cardinality. Now, let's see what happens when we aggregate this metric. Here, we see the pre-aggregated version. We see all of the labels, including those that are not being utilized, and the total number of time series. Looking at the aggregated version, we see that only the labels which are being used have been retained, which has significantly reduced the number of series. And of course, our dashboards, alerts, recording rules, and queries will all continue to work. Next, Adaptive Metrics sees a metric which is not being utilized at all. In this case, it recommends that we aggregate away the high cardinality labels, where we can significantly reduce the number of time series without actually removing this metric. Now let's see what happens when we query. Here, we see the original metric. We see all of the labels that are available, including those high cardinality labels. When we look at the aggregated version, we'll see that this metric is still available, but those high cardinality labels have been aggregated away. If anyone goes to query this metric later, they'll see exactly which labels have been dropped under dropped labels, and this aggregation can be unapplied should they need that level of dimensionality. Finally, let's see what recommendations are available across the environment. With adaptive metrics, this is as simple as downloading a file. You can then review the recommended aggregations, select the ones which you wish to apply, then execute another command, and you can aggregate metrics across the entire environment. Here, we can see the impact to the number of time series before applying these aggregations and after. With adaptive metrics, you can reduce your observability costs by optimizing your Prometheus cardinality and expect a reduction between 20 and 50%. Now, you only have to pay for what you use. Get started with Adaptive Metrics today.